miss me, insect. Now you may be surprised of how I am even alive at this point. Let's just say the strong get second chances. And a second chance at my life does not seem that bad to me. So, I made a deal. A certain deal. With someone who is very good with technology. He said I could fix you. He said I can make you better. He said I can give you your power back if you let me. And you know what I said to him? I said, sure. I have nothing else to lose, so why not? And here I am. Back to almost perfection. Sure, my quirk works a little different, but I like it. My quirk formed into my new body very quickly, having the feeling back in my arms is something of a godsend. That professor saved me. He made me better than what I was before. He made me strong. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? We've already planned for this to happen. Well, as we're talking right now, we have thousands of, uh, maybe even ten thousands of lucky individuals who have succumbed to the doctor's needs and now are being upgraded like myself. Yes. As we speak in an undisclosed laboratory. The doctor is working very hard and very quickly on the cybernetic upgrades for people whose uh, quirks may have a little bit of an upgrade because of this new technology, like mine, for example. There's nothing you can do. It's already begun. And starting with me, I'm free in the world. And I could start anything, really. But, I'm stuck here with you. And, and really, I can't do anything. I know your power. I know what you have. You're not fooling me. F You're not fooling me. Disgusting insect shouldn't have that much power in the first place. Scum of the earth like you should be standing beneath me and licking the dirt where I walk. <laughs> you think your pro heroes can do anything? How many of, of your pro heroes have died when I was active? Please tell me this. <laughs> New and approved heroes. I like to see that.
You think I'm a joke? Well, I can tell you this. I'm not joking around when I say... The Heroes Association will be no more. It will be trampled underneath metal feet. This is an uprising. An uprising, then, really can't be stopped. Unless you bring others into the situation. That just means the doctor will have to work overtime. But there will be more. We have a following. We have a cult of some sort. And they will not stop coming. Until we have everyone on Earth on our side. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> you call me a monster. Quite a lot. In our past conversations. It's been a while since we've talked. But I can guarantee you I'm no monster. I'm just playing out what my doctor told me. I am being obedient because he gave me second life. I owe him my life as return. So you could kill me right now. Go ahead, big hero. Make your biggest and strongest attack towards me. You could kill me, but you'd get away with it. You would get away with my murder because you're a hero, someone who looks up to you. You could kill me now. My doctor would find me and rebuild me, make me stronger, make me better. You don't understand. I have found immortal life. As long as my doctor or any of his predecessors are alive, I live forever. And with new upgrades comes new power. You won't be able to stop me, hero. The look in your eyes of ter true fear. Such terror. You realize you won't be able to stop me now. So, let me deliver a short message to all the heroes out there. Can you bring it back for me? Tell all of the pro heroes. Matter of fact, make it a meeting of some sort. You need everyone in the school, your little school, to hear that overhaul is back. And he's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. There's no way to stop him. He's gained immortal life. There's no way to stop me. No one can. <laughs> I'm going to spare you. For now. Because I want my message to be heard. Now get out of here. You make me disgusted. And my own culture. And my own species at that. Go.